hello there well here we go I am going to use let me make sure I got this right what I'm going to use um, is the Chocola acrylic paints um, 22 milliliter tubes all right the paints I'm going to use uh, for the top half we're going to do the two for one we're going to do two different paintings on a 16 by 20 inch um, canvas panel I've already got it pre-prepped um, with white um, just so black down here all right we're gonna use um, raw umber the, the the colors will be over here already printed out uh, raw umber thalo blue paints gray oh vermilion red Naples yellow and titanium white all right so not very many colors only six and we're gonna do a um, up here we're gonna just do a uh, landscape of some sort um, and you know we'll go from there it, uh, down below here it'll be a floral all right so I'm gonna try two different um, genres of painting landscape floral um, I'm gonna use now because this is acrylic paint okay and this is a seems to be a thicker body paint okay uh, I'm gonna use um, what's called it's called modeling paste I'm gonna use that see how this paint takes to that when I do the uh, the mountains and everything okay so um, we're gonna just get right on to it now I'm gonna take a wet on wet painting style approach to this now this is usually uh, an oil painting uh, type of thing but you can do it for acrylic okay you'll be seeing the back of my head a lot all right um, <coughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'll just adjust the camera so we, you'll see the top half and then we'll move on and, can, and, and uh, give attention to the bottom half all right, all right. I'm going to use about a one and a half inch thick um, flat uh, brush and this is to apply what I'm going to use as a medium to keep acrylic paint a little bit more pliable and usable is vegetable glycerin now I use vegetable glycerin as a medium just to keep once again keep the paint wet a little longer and you can actually um, you can actually blend easier with it and whatever special effects if there be any all right now with vegetable glycerin you put on an extremely thin amount you do not need a lot of glycerin um, for this There's a few ways you can apply it you can apply it directly to the board like I'm doing now or you can even dip your paint into it and mix it into the paint both are water soluble and so it, it will work okay once again very light coating just spread it around all right now on canvas the glycerin will sit on top of the primed surface if you use now I do a lot of tutorials and so I don't use canvas a lot I use a uh, watercolor paper and of course watercolor paper will absorb this stuff but you can also prime your watercolor paper okay but once again very little bit goes a long ways it's extremely reflective and you'll see that when the light shines on this side all right all right let's uh let's go right into it so obviously we're going to start off with the sky and i'll use a little bit of oh how about we'll start off with the blue here and this is the phthalo blue super dark blue of course and we'll just kind of with this round and see how it acts this is my first time really painting with this um, paint and so we're gonna see how it does okay and I'm just using the the brush here just to spread the color on uh, I'm even going to a little bit of paint gray so I can just darken this top edge a little bit just to, just to tint it there and maybe a little bit on this corner 
just a small touch of the paint gray. Now this paint, as I'm, because I'm, once again, I'm accustomed to heavy body paints. This is not as thick as the brand I'm usually using, but you can still, it flows well. Okay, it blends pretty good. All right. Yes, I'm leaving that little spot of white in there. I have a beach towel on my lap so I can just wipe off the excess. All right. Okay. Let's take a, oh, uh, we'll take a fan brush. And I'm just going to wisp in a few uh, cloud shapes. So I'm going to just dab a little bit of titanium white, just a little bit. And I think I'm going to use just a small touch of blue in that titanium white. Titanium white is a very opaque color. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just take my brush and I'll just kind of twist and turn a little bit. I don't want it to be bleach white. Not at all. Um, just tint it with the blue. Okay, because I'm going to blend all of this together. Okay, so I just want a few little wisps of some things happening here and there. Once it gets a little more saturated with the blue, I'll just dip into some more titanium white. Now this paint, being that it's a little heavier body paint, but it's not as, as thick, so it's quite maneuverable. Okay, I think that will be fine what I'm looking at right here now remember vegetable glycerin will keep this paint wet for for a while because acrylic paint all of them are not notorious for drying extremely fast all right I'm going to use in essence it's a, a makeup brush that you get any at any big box store what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to very lightly get rid of the brush strokes. All right. So very light circular patterns there. Very light. Don't go heavy handed. You don't want to I'll over blend your, your clouds and you don't want to overdo the rubbing down of the paint with this glycerin because it will leave a a patch of where you um, blended or over blended your paints okay so just a little something to keep in mind and the paint is very maneuverable at this stage <coughs> <coughs> so just be mindful of that as you can see the clouds are starting to form there and not down here it doesn't really matter I can just fade this out there will be objects in front of, of this part but I'll just kind of blend it away all right and yes I'm using a, a rounded makeup brush for this you need like really soft hairs to do it the more you blend okay the more your, your patterns will start to kind of soak and seek in to your background. Even though we're technically painting nothing but the background, just the sky. And once again, it's very pliable, very movable. So far, so good with the paint. Especially putting this medium on the, on the board. All right, so it's not too bad, not too bad. All right, we're moving right along. I'm going to go back into my fan brush here. Um, I'll use the same size. It's okay. Now, I will add um, titanium white. I'll just pull this titanium white down a little bit. Pure titanium white this time. And now we'll get some of the, more or less, the outside uh, clouds. And I'll just take the brush and just kind of pop it around here like this. And I'm going to keep the uh, the clouds white. So I'm rinsing off the paint. 
because obviously you're going to contaminate it with blue but I want to keep the cloth white so and we'll uh we'll get a nice little batch oh starting right in here and I'm just twisting the brush just like so all right once it starts to tint with blue get off the get off the uh canvas wipe off your brush and you can see that the cloud shape starting to form okay without really um doing any, anything and let's we'll pop some down here down below like this all right i think we're all right right up in here okay now there's a couple ways you can do this depending on what type of clouds you're looking for and what type of background um, you want you can fade it either with the fan brush or you can take a makeup brush and I'll take a smaller slightly smaller makeup brush and what I'm gonna do is I like the action going on in here so we're just gonna soften up the edges all right so just very lightly very very lightly just kind of wisp both edges there okay you don't want to over blend you don't want it to blend in with your other clouds you want these to kind of stick out a little more all right and that's all I'm doing very light blend the more you do it the more it blends be careful all about your hand control and you'll get accustomed to it the more you do it and once again down below here I'll blend a little heavier just to blend it in down here on the bottom all right you got a nice little set of clouds going on there got some little action happening okay once again I'll just blend this stuff out down here it doesn't matter nicely move it around blend it out just like that so we got a nice interesting batch of clouds going on a little dark on the sides a little light in the middle but you get some stuff happening all up in here very natural um looking all right okay let's move right along i'm gonna mix uh a few colors here i, I know i'm gonna need some more titanium white so let me get that prepared There's, there's always going to be uh, uh, paints that you're going to use more than others depending on what genre of painting you're doing what style of paint all right I'm gonna get a palette knife and I'm going to get a little bit of paint gray now, paint gray is, kind of, is a gray with a little bit of blue in there okay I'm going into my um, raw umber paint gray raw umber I'm just gonna get a quick mountain mix here and so I'm just blending that raw umber and that paint gray together. Okay. Now, whatever degree of color you want, that's the color you'll make prominent. If you want more gray, obviously you add more gray. If you want more of the uh, brown, you add more brown. Okay, really up to you how you want to do that. Okay, many ways to sketch out a mountain. Many ways. Okay, you can use a palette knife, you can use a paintbrush whatever way is comfortable for you to do your your mountain okay now keep in mind I do have glycerin on here which is um, it will thin down your paint a bit and it will um, make it um, also a little transparent okay I'm just going to sketch out or just draw out here some clouds real quick or some um, a mountain or two all right, we'll put it, oh, maybe around here. I'll just use the palette knife. Now, the thing with mountains, depending on what style, how you want them to look, I don't really have to add, like, um, all this dark color all over the place with it. And you'll see. You'll see what happens. I'll come here. And we'll add a little peak here. Okay, I'm not worried about down below here. Down below, I can care less. It's, it's really the the top part of the mountain. 
is what I'm interested in. We'll put a little dip here for that guy. And we'll go back up. Get a little bit more of the color. And we'll put a nice little, little peak here. And it will just kind of make it a little craggy there. Like that. What I'm concentrating on right now really is the outside, the tops of the mountain. Not down below necessarily, just that top up there. Okay. You bring it down to where you feel you would want it. Now I'm gonna use a paintbrush to spread this out, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Get some off my knife there. Alright, something like that. Alright, that's that. Let's take a uh we'll take a three-quarter inch brush if I can find one around here. Uh I think this'll do. I'm gonna take a three-quarter inch brush, I'm gonna wet the bristles. Now, I'm just gonna spread out this mountain a little bit. Not too much color on it, but watch. Watch what happens, I'll just take it. You see this, see? And you just kinda ride it on out there. You can make the mountain as large as you want or as small as you want. Top here, and bring it on down. But you see how large you can actually make this guy? Up to you. How big you want this mountain? How you want it to look? How far down you want it to go? Truly up to you. Okay. Let's borrow some from here. Let's kind of drag that out down here a little bit more. Just like that. I won't have to go all the way to the bottom. Won't be necessary. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let us fade some of that away. Down below here. And right down here. Fade it a little. I'm going a little heavy with the brush just to fade that edge out, that's all. No more, no less. Just to fade it out a little bit. Then I'll just take it, a little extra, so we'll just kind of blend that out. Just like that. Makes it look like it's just appearing out of nowhere there. Okay. All right. Just like so. Let's see where we are with that. Oh, we're all the way on the bottom, okay. All right, let's put some texture on this guy, okay. I'm gonna go with my palette knife. You can texture them out in any way you, you wish. It's really your world and how you wanna do that. Um, I'm gonna go with a little bit of, let's go with a little bit of this uh, umber. I'm gonna use a little bit of raw umber and probably some blue. Thalo blue raw umber. Okay. And we're gonna use a little bit of titanium white to gray it out a little bit. Once again, this paint so far, so good. It's not. Uh, the consistency of like um, it's more or less like the consistency of, of pudding really now with this mountain what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of modeling paste it's just gonna thicken this paint up a little bit and it's gonna add to the texture of the um, when I go into the, the um, detailing of the of the mountain range. Okay, so it's just gonna thicken up this paint just a little bit, and it's just modeling paste. Modeling paste is white, um, and it takes the color of whatever you're putting in it. It does not 
lighten or darken your paint or the pigment not at all okay so it's just making this paint a little thicker okay okay now I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna spread it out here I kind of like that color and I'm gonna get a nice swipe across here okay so it's a little thin roll of, of paint on there you should be able to see that little thin roll of paint um what side do you want to be the lit side what side you want to be the shaded side really up to you okay I can just do the whole mountain and decide afterward what side I want lit and what side I want shaded but you're gonna take your brush your uh, knife and you're just gonna very lightly graze on your mountain get and let the mountain let it break a little bit okay now I've been doing this for a little while and I kind of know what to do but this isn't really a, a t teaching tutorial it's really a review on the paints itself so kind of have to think with a different brain right now and I'm just getting some interesting little mountainous shapes going on interesting little shapes happening uh, let's do one right here that's kind of You'll see it slowly start to kind of come together here. And you want the paint to break. Get those interesting little little um, gaps in there. Okay. If it's a little difficult for you to uh, see it right now, don't worry. We, we've got something for that. All right. Let's bring this down here a little bit. All right, let's move this Continue camera with the same color. All right. And we'll come right here for this fella. We'll kind of play with it in there. Now the modeling piece is also helping this. It thickens the paint, helps it to break up a little bit. Now, as you can see, it might be a little difficult for you to see this color, but as it, with all acrylics, as it dries, it dries a little dark, okay? Kind of what you're looking for i'm getting a little bit more of the paint i'm spreading it out thin on the palette take a nice little swipe across get that thin layer of paint there all right oh uh, we'll play around with this a little bit and we'll come here and we'll just add some interesting little patterns there come out here there we go All right. See, it's a little, little dark for you right now, so it's, it makes it a little difficult for you to see it. And that's okay. It will, it will um, come to fruition. I promise. Uh, let's add a little bit of love over here, down here. All right. I think I'll have the lighter color on the right come from the right hand side. I'm gonna take some titanium white with the mix i've already have okay just to lighten it up a bit i don't want to completely blend it take a nice little swipe across make it a little thin here swipe across we're gonna go on the opposite end i'll use my right hand here and we're gonna create some of the little peaks of the mountain to kind of turn it around there get a little curve in some of them see that come out here bring it outward just like that the paint breaking is what's giving you the effect you follow me and we can kind of chop it up here you can guide this any way you want any which way you want whatever floats your boat okay we can come out this way Nice little ledge going there. All right. And right here, right off the tape, or right off the paper there, right there. And when you do this, you gotta remember, you're going in the direction of your work, of the mountain itself. Go 
in that direction, that general direction. Okay. All right. Let's move the camera this way. Right around in that area right there. <coughs> A little titanium white. Some more of that mountain mix. Put it uh, together, blend it, but don't over blend. Marbleize the, uh, the color. All right. And here we go. We're going to come right on this side here. And we're going to come around, come around, wave it around a little bit. Bring it around across there. There you go. Don't try to force it. Just let it happen. What these are called as uh, accidentals, you, you, you're aiming it in the right direction, but how, how it's gonna look, what shape, if not really, it's just leaving it up to fate after that. You're just guiding it where to go. Okay, that's all. There we go, just like that. And you see it will start to flesh out. Mix it up into the dark color a little bit. It's all right, blend it right up in there. Come on and round. As you see, some spots are becoming a little bit brighter than others and that's fine. I'm actually doing that on purpose. The modeling paste also assists in doing that. So let's say if I want uh, some of the peaks to show a little bit more. And you can kind of, you can kind of mold that, see. Maybe you want it to come down and around like that. Up to you. But as you see with it being lit like this, now you can kind of see how this mountain will start to shape up and form for you. Like I said, the more you do it, the easier it becomes and you'll start to see things. Let's um, move this camera back a little bit. All right, all right. You see how it's starting to take shape now? Okay. So it's not really doing too bad with the, uh, with the modeling paste. I like how, one, what, what I like is, is very maneuverable, this, this, uh, this uh, paint. Every paint is different. Each paint handles differently. Okay. So it's all in how. And like I said, what 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 style of painting you do, what genre of paint painting you do. There. Just meet that and bring it downward. The direction is very important. Very, very important. I really don't have to mess with it much after that. Let's let's pan this out. Let's see what we have. Right about there. Let's move it here. And this is your mountain range so far. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Let's take um we'll take this brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap very lightly because remember we still have glycerin down on the bottom this paint is still quite wet and right now I'm just tapping to ch soften the bottom half of the mountain a little bit there's a reason for my madness doing this okay and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just swipe in that direction just like this go from the bottom swipe upward into the direction of where you think the, the mountain will be Okay, then I'm gonna take the same brush and I'll just gently blend some of that. You don't have to press too hard. If you wanna use the softer brush, use the softer brush. That's fine too. Okay, and this is what we have so far. All right, using the charcoal paints. 
Right. Let's add a little bit of mist or a little bit of fog down there. I'll take uh, a slight touch of, I'll use the same large brush. I'll take a little bit of titanium white, a little bit of the mop mix color. I don't want it to be overly done. I'm going slightly below the range itself. And it's just a little bit of titanium white in that mountain mix color. And I'm just going slightly below. Maybe, maybe a little higher up in here. But I'm going back down below the mountain. A little touch of titanium white. A little bit of the mountain mix color. It's almost dry brushing. And now I can do this because, once again, there. The paint is still relatively wet on the board. So I can still maneuver all of that around. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Once again, we'll take our little hairbrush or our makeup brush and lightly from the bottom come up into the mountain just a little bit, very lightly up into the mountain though. Don't overdo it. Don't press too hard. And you just want to obscure just a little bit of the mountain. Okay, just to make it look like mist. Down below you can go a little heavier, it's okay. But up here, you just want to obscure it just a touch. Just a touch. That's all. Just like that. Alright. So a little hazy down there, a little sharper up here. Alright. And now you can see how the mountain being as dark as it is, it kind of brings those clouds back. But the clouds help push the mountain up forward um, with this um, grayish um, neutral color we got going on here. All right. And when you make the brighter side of the mountain, okay, you don't necessarily start off with stark white. You, you go with a lighter version of that neutral color. And you can pretty much add whatever color you want in that gray. It's still going to be kind of neutral, but just tint it with whatever color you choose. And then you just top it off with uh, the white representing snow or whatever. Okay, and there you have it. All right, let's move on to, uh, I guess we can probably do some, let's do some, some, some background trees maybe. Or maybe mid-ground. Let's go with mid-ground trees. Um, some mid-ground uh, okay. pine trees. I don't want to add any um, glitter or anything to it, so we're just doing natural paint. All right. Okay. So we're gonna start right here on the on this edge, and then go on from there. I'll I'll put I'll put this guy oh right about here. Okay. I'll use the corner of the brush just to shape the tree. Just to shape the tree a little bit here. There we go. I'm just going side to side. I like my trees a little full in the middle, in the middle, and it flare it, flare it out um, as we go downward. And I need to get more, so I'm using a lot more brown and Payne's gray, dipping into my yellow. Get that same color I was looking at before need a touch more blue so I'm using a lot more of that paint give me that color back there all right I like what I see here let's add more paints gray and darken it just a, just a hair just thicker paint I'm gonna load my brush up no medium all pure paint I'm mixed in here and that's a lot better that I like there we go Darken that up a little bit. We'll bring it down here. Okay. I'll probably bring it right about there. So now I know where I pretty much want to put the tree. I'll add some of the groundwork here. Just like this. I'll have it come a little higher and we'll just have it come lower and lower and lower. Just like that. I'll pop some of these, make it look like tall grasses here. 
go in different directions with it. You're not really looking for extreme detail at this stage. All right. And then we can kind of darken that up a little bit. It's all right. You're not looking for any detail. We're just kind of getting rid of some of that, that white color down there. All that white just kind of blocking out with a little bit of color. I'm just using a brush, getting the paint off the off the uh, the brush itself. Okay. Remember, I'm using charcoal or brand paint. There's no medium or anything added. This is just all pure pigment, the pure paint itself. All right. Okay. That's all I really wanted to do. Now I'm gonna get a a batch of trees, a grouping of trees. You don't have to think about each and every tree right now. Now that I've got the first one established, okay, I'll just kind of guide it and we're gonna kind of get these guys going. They're gonna run into each other a little bit. You're just looking for a group of trees. I won't get rid of all that mist and fog that we worked so hard to create. All right. No, I'm not gonna do that to you. We'll get some, some shorter guys in there like that. Or you can just kind of go straight like this. If you want to see more detail with your trees, go put some tiny ones in there like this so you can still see a little bit of that mist. See how you can kind of group them in there? Okay. And you're just doing a lot of representation of pine trees right now. All right. So you got to think of composition all the time. Okay. All right, let's, let's put one up above right there. And we'll kind of put them out there. And you're thinking of shapes just like that. Okay. Just pop them in there. I'm going back into my Payne's gray. Going back into my blue a little bit. And we're going to get a touch of that brown. Bring that color back a little. Okay, then we're going to continue on. Well, remember, I don't want to get rid of my mist. So we're throwing some smaller ones in there, just like that. Just a representation of, you know, other forest things happening there, just like that. Now, with your mind's eye, you're actually developing two planes of, um, vantage point you got the smaller trees and you got these larger ones in here okay we're not even trying hard okay you're establishing that because you're putting it pretty much in front of the fog bank so we can kind of get one that's a little tall right there and we can pop a crooked one right in there like that and just like so okay all right like I say, you don't really have to go overboard um, with, with detail. It's the mid-ground, okay, really. I'll take what I have here. I'll take a little bit of the, the, the yellow here. I'll lighten it up. Slight touch of white just to lighten up the yellow. Still, the green is uh, overpowering. The color is just making it a little lighter. Now, I'm not going to take any glycerin, I'm just going to take water. Water, a thin paint sticks to a thicker paint. So I'm just using a little water. Splay out the brushes a little bit. Well, it should be light enough to, to make some little bit of a difference here. Let's see. Nope, it needs to be a little bit lighter. I'm going to go back into my white. Titanium white. I'm splaying out the brushes so it looks like grass. Okay, and then I'll just very light, very light touches. Um, I'll start from around here. And I'll just kind of tap in some light patches of grass. Just light, really light. And you can actually kind of um, set up where you want your the topography of your land to be where you want the background to 
to be before it disappears into the trees there. And once again, nothing overly detailed. You're just really putting that texture there. Something for your eyes to follow a little bit. Once again, when you add titanium white to things, just be careful um, with that. We're going to add a little bit of color. I am. I'm going to add a touch of red. Get a nice little fire brand, a little patch of red grass in there. And this is just something to catch your eye a little bit. Okay. Just a little. doesn't have to be super bright. I'm just going to put this in here in patches here and there. So when you put the other foliage in, and that's going to be in front of it. Okay, we'll bring some of this red down here on the bottom. Okay, so that's little little patches of red here and there. All right, I think I think we're good with what you're seeing right here. Not overly bright. I'm just cleaning off the brush. Okay, so far so good. I'm just looking at things, checking it out. We're gonna put a few, I'm gonna take a smaller fan brush to do this. I'll take a, um, let's take some blue real fast. Some blue and some of this yellow. Remember, it's Naples yellow, okay? And we got a really, really, really almost radioactive blue going on here. So I'm gonna take some of that radioactive blue. I'm gonna get some some white, brighten it up a little bit. It's okay. Let's get a little brown. We'll deaden it up a little bit. Just bring some of that woodsy kind of brown back in that in this kind of green. It's lighter still. I'm gonna thin out the, the paint a little bit. Remember how thin paint sticks to the sticky stuff. Okay. I need to get a little more titanium white. Now adding the titanium white, it will, now it's all different degrees of you adding the titanium white. But titanium white, extremely opaque. All right, there we go, that'll be all right. I'm gonna add a few little leafy pine details to it. Okay, and I'll do it more or less on the right hand side. I don't have to go really crazy with it. I'd rather not. But just to give a little light source to some of these. And it helps bring it out from in front of the mountain also. Okay, and that's basically all I'm doing. All right, so you, you see a little bit. I don't want it super neon bright. That won't be necessary. Just like so. This fella up here. And you can always kind of shape the tree if you didn't like the way it looked last time. You can always come back and shape it the way you want. All right. No harm, no foul. Have a little fun with it. I'm going to still take this brush. And now we'll kind of play around with some of, the, some of the, the background here. And just lighten up in patches. That's all. Little patches of brightness in there. Here and there. Really your discretion. And right now you're just using globs of paint, literally. Shaping it. To represent you know, your foliage and your trees and such. Okay. Alright. Sometimes you can get away with what I'm going to show you. Sometimes you can't. It all depends. And if you don't like it, you can always, you know, cover it back up. Let's add, uh, I'll just use the, the tip of the, the knife and we'll add some, add some trunks in there for a couple of them. Real thin. All right. Pop a couple thin ones in here, just like that. Come back here, put in a couple. Just like so. And you come over here, add a few in here back here just willy-nilly pop in a few all right just like so all right 
there. Now you might not see it too well, but they're in there. Okay, we're getting towards the end of this part. All right, let's add a, a um, let's kind of add a giant, uh, we'll add some giant tree or maybe a rock or something. But now we're gonna be a little, little slick with it because we have the top painting almost done. You follow me? Almost done. So we got the top painting uh, going here. Let's work. Well, let's let's mess with this yellow for a little while longer, just a few seconds. I got another small brush. Uh, this is the uh, Naples yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little Naples yellow here, a slight a slight touch of titanium white just to brighten the Naples a little bit, and we'll just we'll lighten up a few things here. We'll just come here and. Nice light touch of of some some little doodads in here, just to brighten up things a little bit. Now, when you now this is a rounded brush, so you gotta kind of do it in clumps, all right. But you gotta make it uh in a way where it doesn't look like, even though you're, you're using a circular rounded brush, you don't want it to look like a circular rounded brush if that makes any sense I'll put some right in front of the tree it adds a little sense of depth in there I'll pop some of these down in here like this go on over the red a little bit all right just here and there uh, let's pop a couple of these in the center there like this once again it just breaks up the color get some interest going some bright spots here and there You don't have to go overboard with it. Pop a couple back here too. There we go, just like that. All right, all right. The only time we've used any medium into the paint was when I did the mountain, the, uh, and it was the uh, modeling paste. Okay. All right, so we use vegetable glycerin and modeling paste. And that's what we, we have here so far. All right, let's get a large palette knife we're gonna scoop up the rest of this color I got here on this palette I'm looking at all of this paint and I can use a little bit more brown and blue in this in the paint that I already have I don't want to want to I don't want to waste the paint so with the colors that I have which is mostly green now the um, umber is a brown with green in it. So to neutralize that, I'm using red. Red and green are opposites of each other. Okay, and I'm mixing it pretty good. Need more red. And I'm just really making a deeper color to represent whatever I'm gonna have in the foreground here. Okay, now I got phthalo blue very powerful blue and I got the blue mixed into that greenish color actually that would make good leaf colors so I'm gonna save that right here let's get some more paints gray and we're gonna add a nice large thick dark tree in there so I'm using some uh, paints gray I think I'm going to be probably pretty good with this that paint gray by itself with this greenish color. Yeah, there you go. That works great. Now I'm going to get it deeper by adding red. There we go. All right. Now that I've got the paint color I'm looking for, let us put a big gnarly looking tree uh, probably I kind of like like it going in this direction it, um, more than just over here on, on the opposite side but once again you, you think about composition okay and I still want it to go in this direction and it just gives the appearance of this section of the mountain being even further away you'll see in about three seconds here I will get a 
I'll we'll use a thicker brush here. All right. That was about a size 16 flat here. All right. We're going to go into this deep color here that I've made. I hope I got enough of it. We're about to find out. And we're going to put a nice... Um, tree. This is all about placement here. And where I actually want this thing. So we'll just kind of do one of these and have it come this way. He's a thick guy, so we'll make him about that thick. And all curved. And then he'll be all gnarly. And he's going to be wrapped right around in there. Okay. Really large. See, you just need, you don't want jet black. Don't do that. Jet black on a painting um, like this will stick out like a sore thumb. You think it's black, but it's not. Okay. Your eyes will fool you. Yes, there's no black nowhere near in this. Okay. And we should have enough to fill all of this in. Now, remember, you still got glycerin on here. Now, the glycerin will slow the drying time of your acrylics quite substantially, depending on how much glycerin you used. It also depends on the brand of paint, also. But this is holding off, holding uh, pretty well for me. It's staying pretty lucid, pretty, pretty wet, which is not a bad thing. It's, it's all right. Okay. Now, with this gnarly creature being that large and that close to us, okay, and you can add all sorts of interesting highlights and, and things um, to this uh, tree, okay? One of the first things you're going to add is a branch. You need a branch for this guy. So, we'll put the branch here and going that way, and we'll make a nice there. Okay. In the highlighting, you'll determine how far in or whatever you want that branch. But right now, it's just the shape that you're, you're looking for right now with this fellow. Okay. All right. So we've got that going on. Could I put another branch in there? I most pop uh, possibly can. Your discretion. Okay. So, where would I put it? I can make it a little higher and a little thinner coming out this way, like that. And we'll kind of thicken him this way. Yeah, out there like that. Okay. Something like that. All right. I believe I got really what I wanted. I could have some more dark stuff be a little bit longer in here. Just like that. Okay. And this is more, once again, more or less composition than anything else. Okay. All right. There we go. Just cleaning off the brush. I got um, a nice healthy dose of this tree color and we're just going to play with it now. Um, let us take the first initial color, we'll spread it out a little bit. We'll take some titanium white and we're going to add that into this previous gray mix and we're getting our bark, a color of our bark. I don't want the bark necessarily one color. I'm just going to take a, um, I'll take the, uh, the palette knife here. Get a nice thin ring of paint here. And we're just going to raise up this uh, little, oh, we're right there right at the top, so it won't matter. Okay. And we're just going to get some bark going on here. And I'm going to just use the, the edge of the, of the knife here. And I'll just kind of Tap in some really gnarly looking. I'm going close as I can to that edge. Okay. And 
get that gnarly bark. And it's just me playing around with the palette knife. Once again, if you're new, if you're new to it, you're going to be a little nervous and a little hesitant. All right, but don't be, don't be. It, as in all things, it takes practice. Okay. bring that right on around and the key to it is I'm not mar I'm not uh, it's not one solid color we're not gonna get rid of the, the basic color all right you'll still keep some of that in there because you still want to add depth um, to your tree all right and continuing on it's pretty much like doing that mountain but obviously a little thinner a little smaller you just doing a tree now there's a light and a dark side especially to a uh, tree like this that's aged and a little battle war and we're gonna get to that we're gonna get to that right now I'm just gonna texture the whole the whole deal you don't necessarily have to do it the way I'm doing it okay you truly don't you can experiment and there's got to be a, a tree pattern or any kind of bark structure that you really enjoy to do. I've done a little bit of everything over the over the years, and you really will come accustomed to it, and you'll find a mix that you will thoroughly enjoy to make for your uh, tree pattern. bring it down here a little bit down there scrape a little bit up and off and over just like that put a little bit up here you will get accustomed to it if this is practice you'll kind of know where to go where the paint is on your palette knife to achieve and do to these uh, Type of uh, effects. All right, you will, you will, you'll get it. Don't be discouraged. Don't, don't, don't lose hope. All right, I'm going to go with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. So we're going to make this. This now using a color this this bright for a tree this gnarly. And what it's going to do is going to bring your tree out from among all of this because everything's in, is similar, neutral. Uh, color all right the brighter the highlight the less of it you need I'm just gonna go to the very end and I'm just gonna kind of tap a little bit just a couple of taps see this and what's going on here is that the previous paint that you've already laid on here it's gonna create texture and so basically all you're doing really is just going over what you've previously done Okay, a certain Afro painter way back in the day would say that the, the painting or the mountain will take what it wants and give the rest back to you. And uh, that, that gentleman was right. It's just because of the texture that has already been established, that you've established actually. Okay, that's what's helping do that okay that's what's helping it do it and it's just a little bit of yellow well this variety of yellow the Naples and white now I've got a little bit of extra I got like greenish blue in, in this Naples I'm not sorry it's still much brighter than what you're looking at actually you know I need more of the Naples and more titanium white so we'll correct that real quick Naples a little bit of white Let's bring that back and be very careful I'll just tap it because I know it's pretty bright and I'm just bringing some of this up and around a little bit come on around in here 
just like that. You see those patterns? You see what it's starting to look like now? Okay. Uh, we're going to go up top here on the other side. We're going to go come up top. That's a little much. It's all right. Going to go on the bottom here. That's where the light is hitting. Just like that. Here we're going to take a few chunks out of that and we're going to kind of have it come around there a little bit. Just like that. Okay. All right. We're almost there for this one, this part. We're almost there. Come on. Around here, add some of that here. Right on its edge, right up in here. All right, but now you see, okay, that the tree is definitely the guy in front. All right. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much uh, it for this half of the because glycerin is very reflective. When it dries, the shine goes away. Okay. So it's, it's working out pretty decent. Looking, looking all right. Okay. All right. Let's go right. down below. Let us take our one and a half inch thick brush. We're going to dip into some vegetable glycerin again. Keep the board pretty slick even here you should be able to see it's very reflective this is vegetable glycerin you get it at any hardware store or, or um, any big box store somewhere you can get it all right i ordered mine online quite a while ago like a few years ago and uh, it's held pretty good and I paint probably a lot more than others, so and it kept me pretty much same bottle, or yeah. As you see, I'm rubbing it right into the canvas here, because you, once again, you don't need a ton of this. A very light amount is all you need for this, depending on you know how you paint, how you paint, what you're painting, things like that. All right, so we got this going on. All right, and you can see it's very reflective, especially around here where the light is uh, showing. Okay, um, water and glycerin, not great bedfellows. So, water cuts through this glycerin like a hot knife through butter. So, just thought you all to know that. All righty, so we got that done. Let's go into some. Uh, I already got titanium white down there, so let's go with our mauve. I'll put the mauve right by the white here. Looks like a very interesting color to paint something with. All right, a little bit of rose matter. We'll put the rose matter right around in here. Um, what else we have? A little in yellow. Put the lemon yellow right here right next to the white other side now the pudding the pudding type nature of these paints okay um which isn't really too bad i'm gonna see how, what it does with the dark surface and um don't know how will it take we're, we're, we're both gonna find out um colors used Lemon yellow, rolls the matter, mauve pale, and titanium white. And, um, I do have some green and some things uh, that I had previously. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna take this nice little half inch brush here. We'll start getting some. Uh, we'll get some leaves going. We'll, we'll do a few of those. All right, all right. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I know I don't talk very loud. Okay, and I'm using um, charcoal acrylic paints. All right, no medium or anything. It will be maybe a little bit of glycerin or whatever, but we're gonna see how this stuff takes. We're going into this prefab created green that I have, which is pretty dark. Okay, I'll probably lighten this up a little bit. Touch a titanium white in that, just to lighten it up a little bit. Now this is a prefab green, so I gotta be careful. Um, it doesn't turn gray. 
and it seems to be holding up all right seems to be doing okay all right a little bit of glycerin dipped into the uh, paint on the brush it's just gonna thin it out a little bit so it can flow I got glycerin on here and we're just gonna do a few background leaf things going on here all right okay I probably should bring this in a little bit so you guys can see exactly what's going on here all right we'll um here i'll go thin thick and thin so we'll do it like that we'll bring this up a little bit so you see exactly what's going on i'll bring a little bit of these leaves into the the, the outside painting there just like, like that so i'll probably end up light um putting some lighter touches on on these guys we're bringing through like that all right all right we're gonna do a few of those uh i like to operate these things going in threes so i'll go one like here just like that right into the other painting there like i said i might brighten that up a little bit let's thicken that and bring it up there like that now i'll probably make those a little bit brighter so they show a little more up above and I'll just take a little touch of yellow, a little touch of titanium white and yellow mix, a little bit of the darker green, almost like double loading the brush, okay, and then I'll just lighten it up a little bit, and it's just basically to let it show up above, not necessarily on, on down below, but just a little brightness up there, all right. And that's that's really what I'm looking for there. Okay. All right. Let's take a little bit of this titanium white. We'll put it in with this deeper green. I gotta be careful. I don't really want it to be gray, but I want it to kind of stick out a little bit. I'll put some of this darker green in to mix it in a little bit. Get a touch of glycerin on the paint brush. I'm wiping. I'm bringing the strokes toward. I'm pulling it, the brush towards me because I need a um, you need a brush with a nice chiseled edge really all right we'll kind of get something uh maybe we'll kind of curve it around this way get it a little thick and come out there like that all right and maybe um maybe one we'll start it pretty thick here just like that and then we'll curve it like that nice thick leaf there all right now that's a little bit dark so obviously i'm gonna lighten that up a little bit and here we go we're gonna do it again now this is a black background just like so okay and we'll lighten this up a little bit just like so mainly toward the, toward the top i want that to kind of glow all right and maybe we'll have one kind of hanging here like this and we'll give it a little wiggle just like that nice little edge to it there okay all right let's uh go into our darker color here i got the yellow on the brush still it doesn't matter get a little more a little just a slight touch of glycerin in here thin up this paint just a little bit i want some darker leaves down below here um right around in here uh, we'll kind of play with it this way and we'll kind of wheel like that and then I'll just take the brush and we'll get some leaves going some darker darker fellows here just like this okay all right these leaves are a little little dark and it's okay put it right in there and I'm gonna overlap a few These leaves are in the background, okay, but you'll see. Let's pull, let's pull out a little bit here and just aim this one downward. And these are just filler leaves, all right, and we'll get a couple in there like this and we'll kind of branch one out here. These are just filler leaves. They don't have to have a lot of detail in them. It's a black background. It keeps it a little mysterious, all right. These aren't the leaves that will be front and center. 
So I'm really concentrating on the background here. So we got one here. Uh, let's have one kind of covering that one up like that. And maybe something here on the corner like this. Mash it up right in there like that. All right, now we're gonna dip a little bit more glycerin and thin out the paint a little bit. Once again, these are background leaves. I don't have to put any um, extra detail or anything. It's just the shapes will be important. That's the important thing. It will be the, the shape of the leaves. And you'll see as we go along with this. Not really a uh, how-to floral video. It's just me experimenting with the, with the paints here. And once again, this might look a little silly to you right now. Something like that, all right? You may not see it too well because of, once again, the light and the, the glow from the, the light. Okay, all right. So we got a few background things happening over here. All right, no problem. I'm going to take the very same brush and we're going to establish um, a base color. Okay, and I think I'm going to use, um, once again, this is a black background. So I'm really checking out the paint more than anything else. I'm going to use some of this, this uh, violet or what they call mauve here. I'm mixing it in with white. All right. Don't know if I'm gonna use much glycerin. I think I'll just use pure paint and see how that takes because we have glycerin on here already. And I think I will do, um, well, we'll just kind of bring it out here like this. And I'm just shaping what will be the flower right now. Something like that. Now just a little bit of titanium white mixed in with this, okay? In case you're wondering. All right. Not too bad. That's that's that'll be fine for the initial look of the flower. We'll keep it like right there. Okay. All right. I'm going into this rose, this rose color, and we'll we'll make it. We'll make a pretty somewhat simple. We'll just kind of brush it up this way. Brush it up just like so. Okay. All right take some more of that rose and maybe right around here in the bottom just like this like a little smile but we're gonna brush that smile outward like this brush the smile outward brush it outward just like that okay all right pretty straightforward so far for this guy all right okay Let's start with um, the petals on the bottom. We'll start with that. Let us go with a little bit of, uh, we'll go with the roll or the mauve with a little touch of red in it. I might use just a slight touch of glycerin to loosen up the paint. We're gonna need more paint than this. Get some more mauve. A little little dot of red on the rose matter there. I want it to be a little more on the purple side, so we'll get some more purple. And we're gonna start shaping all petals here. Okay. All rows lead to run. We're doing the outside petals. I'll put a dot right there. You cannot see that dot, of course. So I'll make it to where you see it. Dots right there. You guys should be able to see that dot. Matter of fact, let's put let's bring this upward. And let's zoom it in for a little bit show how quickly this can be done and we'll put it on focus real fast here okay so we'll get the initial shape of a leaf we'll just kind of sketch it out like this we'll come out here we'll sketch one okay and we'll maybe pop a big one right here this is the inside or the underneath of, of the flower we'll kind of get one out here like this and we'll probably play with one out here like that. All right, okay. We're gonna take the brush 
I want to press, pull, and release. Press, pull, release. Just like that. Okay. All right, that's one down. Press, pull, release. Now with this paint, I can notice that it's starting to cake. Okay, and that might be the glycerin doing that. But that's all right, that's all right. It's still blending, still blendable. It's all right, see? I'm just going over it a little bit more. Just like this. It, I'm, I'm pulling out as I'm going into that red. You follow me? All right. All right. Let's get a little bit more for this little bit right here. Come on in. Just like so. When we, you'll notice it more in the highlights than anything else. But right now we're just working on the the flowers down below here. Okay, so we got petals and stuff flaring out in the back, but we're gonna work with these uh, for right now. Okay, let's take, um, we'll take a little bit of white and put it into the color we've previously had here. I'm pulling the brush toward me, all right? Okay, and here we go. What I'm doing is I'm establishing the kind of the highlights to this guy for right now. It is very blendable as you can see. The more you, you stroke, the more it will blend on you. Alright. And it's just a repetitive motion. I'm getting a little more white into this very, very um, pale purple. Uh, color. Uh, let's start here, right here. Let's start right here and just go in. Let it disappear. Just like that. Here, I'm bowing it. A slight bend with this guy, just like that. All right. Those little little highlight uh, features that's being shown there just adds to like little bits of light hitting off separate petals stuff like that okay right in here where I think the light might hit right in here boom and then maybe one right here so it's the bright stuff hitting right now and we're going to turn that inward just like that all right A little bit of white, no glycerin. I want it to, to um, kind of be a little opaque, and I'm just getting some extra little highlight bits on the edge of the leaves on the bottom here, just like that. I'm gonna put another row of uh, leaves in there shortly. All right. Okay. I'm clean off my brush. gonna go into my white a little bit more white all right and I'm just gonna highlight maybe around here push nah, a lot more white than that all right let's see if that does it a little push and release Release, push, release. I'm just getting that little, that little, see that little rim of color on the edge there? And just stroke inward. Just like that. We're gonna do the same thing over here. A little, you push down, get a little strip of paint, and you glide in. Push downward, and you're gonna glide in. Push down, glide right in. like so 
Okay. Like so. Getting some more white. all over the place uh, with this all right clean off the brush I want some more um, petals but before I do that let's work on this middle part here I kind of like this color this mauve color so we're gonna stick with that I'm gonna pour out a little bit more mauve which is just a pinkish purple. Okay, and it's a color I really haven't used before with the flower. All right, let's give a test with this. And it's just route the two, the mauve here. We're gonna come here and we're just gonna kinda put it right in there, right in there, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna have two petals that are gonna cross each other here this point just like that getting some more right out of the tube here straight out of the tube right there boom come on out there like this and we're gonna separate these two and you'll see the vantage point is different when you got petals facing us there's these two guys are facing us here okay all right I'm going into my titanium white I'll put the titanium right, right here. And let's see what we got. Um, the vantage, the points would be right there on the bottom. All right, you know, it's up to you which one you want to go first. Um, I'm gonna give a slight push and bring it inward. And really what I'm looking for is that sharp edge. Come here, bring it this way. I need a lot more white. It's showing, but it's not showing strong enough. So a little more titanium white. Probably a little more than that. All right, I'm pulling the paint. Let's see if we can get a stronger. There we go. And stroke that way. That's the edge I'm looking for. Right there. I'm having the, uh, the striations that I'm making with the uh, strokes work for me. That's all I'm doing. Just like that. Okay, now you might not see that too well once again because of the shine of the uh, light. I'm cleaning off the brush, wiping it off. More titanium white, pulling it toward me. And I'm just using the uh, titanium white just for highlights. Petals edge, come on in. Petals edge. There we go. Get those strokes in there. Just like so. All right, you see it starting to form now. Now that we have this established here, now I can play with another layer here. Okay, I'm going back into my mauve. I did not clean off my brush with the white uh, paint. It's red right in there. I'm gonna keep it just like that. I'm gonna have it a little bit more opaque. And we're just gonna take a little, little push and we're gonna kinda guide some of those petals in there like that, right into that red. You're overlapping 
your previous petals. Right, I'm gonna turn my brush around, get that strong edge and guide it right in there. Like this. And one right here, curve it in. It's like that. You see how easily you can get another another layer of petals in there. Okay, we're gonna do it again. We're working with this point right now. All right, so I'm gonna come here, give it a nice little push, nice little, and we're gonna curve it in. Come out a little bit more, curve it in, boom. Turn it around, curve it in. I don't want to add any glycerin to it because I don't want it to be um, uh, uh, transparent or translucent. And we'll curve it in strongly just like that. And then I'm gonna go over it, just get that flow of the petals. Okay, let's say some of it's a little too abrupt. That's okay. I'm gonna take a soft hairbrush hairbrush I'm sorry guys it's just the um, makeup brush and I'll bring some of that back and then I'll just lightly see how I can just make it come back there okay so now we got another petal um let's try for one more i don't want to add any glycerin so a little more mauve a little more white on my brush and we'll try one oh let's get a little point there we'll try it. we'll curve it in like that Boom. come on in curve it and we'll curve it we'll curve them in like that just like that and we'll, we'll make this one wrap around like this come on around come on around come on around for me right in there just like that all right and you see some of the green is showing through that's fine it's actually good it gives a little bit of a see-throughness into your into your um your your your, your petals there all right all right it's not too bad it's pretty fair that's all right Okay, let's move this up one. right up, up there. We're going to have petals coming out this way. They're going to flow around. All right. Okay. Let's get some uh, more mauve right into this white here. Pull this brush toward me. Let's, um, let's try it. We'll sketch it out a little bit right up in here we've got one right in here coming up on around right i'm gonna give a press and event the, the uh the, the horizon point is still the same it's still over here okay and i'm just taking this pinky purple color all right and i might just curve that guy right in there just like so all right that's that's one down it doesn't look like much yet but this is just the foundation of it no glycerin it's just all paint right now okay we'll um we'll put one oh up above like that and we'll kind of curve it this way this one up above right it's like a it's one right behind the main guy there just like this we're gonna shape and detail these in a few don't worry about that just like this all right that's another one there okay we got one more I'll give it I'll just make it three big petals it's all right a little bit of mauve a little bit of white and then we'll go into the detailing um, this one oh we'll have it maybe behind that and just kind of flop around and disappear this way maybe we'll do it that way let's see how that how that works out for us right in here I remember you can detail you can um when it comes to finalizing these you can do it any way you want 
whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy. Okay. And don't worry about the green. It just helps out making the petals look like they're disappearing or something. Okay, it looks a little weird and lopsided, but that's all right. We're gonna correct that right now. As I'm looking at it, still gotta think about composition and balance. Okay, so we'll have one kind of come out this way and then it'd be coming underneath. So it's right in here. Make it disappear right in there. Bring it right up in there. Don't worry about that green. It's all right. That green actually helps. You got little see-through petals going on here. All right. So it's all right. All right. I am just cleaning the brush because we're, obviously we're going to do another pass. Let's, let's draw this out a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing, what's going on with it here. And we'll bring it up and there's your flower. All right, now we got a row of petals back here to, uh, to mess with. Okay. All right, we're going to go with our white. A slight touch of glycerin will thin that white out a little bit into this mauve, just like so. Pull it toward me. Contaminate that white with the mauve. Pull the brush toward me. All right, let's go here. Let's do the furthest one here. And we're gonna come here and we're just gonna, boom. It's gonna get real interesting here. Just like that. A little touch and boom. A little push. See that rim of color? That's what kind of pops these flowers out, these petals. Give me a little rim of color right in there. Help me out there. Boom, just like that. Okay, that little rim of color helps you. And then those little striations. All right. Let's do something different with this one. Let's have this one here. I'll, I'll do it like that. He's gonna curve in on us. We're gonna put a fold right in here. Right in here, just like this. Okay. Now I'm gonna make that a little brighter so it sticks out a little more. This is a fold in here, so a little color, make it pop out a little bit like this. Okay, just like that. All right, there. Let's go back into our other color here. Let's see if I can, I can do this. A little pop, nope, not bright enough. You need to get some more titanium white and mauve. <coughs> A little more titanium white. We're getting there. We're getting there. I know this is a long video. But I really want to test this out here. So. A little mauve. In a little titanium white, actually a little more titanium white. We want some highlights there. Okay, let's see what this brings us. See if it's bright enough. No glycerin on this. I, I wanted to kind of stick out there. A little pop and come on in. to loosen up this paint. Okay, a little more titanium white here. We're gonna work on the other uh, petals. Let's work on this guy, boom. Just like that, and then we'll give it a little pop and come on in. And a little, maybe a little, a little bit of a point over here. color and bring it in pop color and bring it in okay just like that 
a little white, a little more mauve together. Pop it in there. Pull it toward me. <coughs> a little point here. Spread it and bring it in. Bring it in. And bring it in. Bring it in and bring it in. Just like that. Okay. I'm still checking things out, still looking at certain aspects here. Alright. Let's go back to this guy right here. He's popped out. He's folded over toward us. So um, I'm just getting white. Pure titanium white. And here we go. He's turned towards us so the the uh, the pop will go in the other direction like this. He's turned in our direction and now it's going to be turning and turning just like that okay so you got a pedal that's turned inward now I'm gonna get a little more white so we can build up and yeah, let's build up this corner here pop him a little bit more turn him just a little stronger rim of color here that's all and curve it turn it turn it just like so all right let's get a nice rim of color and let's get some internal petals there uh we'll start right here in the in the middle of this other guy I think we can get away with it. Let's see. One. Go a little higher. Two. Lower. Three. Lower. Can we get a lower? It's like that. Smooth it out a little bit better than that, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's all right. Let's get a little more white. So they can stand out a little better than that. like that and we're gonna have another one here on the side right here and we'll curve it in it's really important to kind of curve and turn those turn those extra pedals inward okay just like that I can probably eke out a few more of those and sometimes it's just just the semblance of extra pedals okay so it's it's some well-placed strokes and lines in there and sometimes it's a quick flick of the wrist okay as you can see just pop them in there find these a little sharper that the edge of color that I'm putting in there is really important to do that all right so your eye knows where to track these guys okay just like that you've got you got pedals all over the place here all right you saw how quickly you can do that and manipulate this flower to look like whatever you want it to look like all right Basically, the most important thing, it really is getting that rim of color going for it. All right. But there you go. It's not too bad. Okay. A lot of um, manipulation with this, um, this type of paint doing it. But that's all right. It's the, really the consistency of this type of acrylic paint. I just want to highlight a few things. 
and that's all I, I just and when I highlight a few things it's just to bring a little separation to some of the some of the strokes some of the flowers there some of the petals this is where when you're near the end you get a little nitpicky that's this part uh, let's add a little bit more love here okay all right I think we're all right I think it's somewhat doable there okay let's play with some um, let's play with some leaves now we got the background leaves as you can see they're in the in the back back there great cool that's what you want I want to make oh let's get a little bit of yellow here uh, I don't know if I've got much white left I don't think so that's all right I want some bright green leaves for this guy so that it sticks out a little bit more and keep the background leaves in the back you know what I'm saying all right a little bit of titanium white into this I got a mixture of <coughs> lemon yellow and they saw um, pre-made green that I did from the earlier painting all right I want these leaves the foreground leaves here to stick out I got a little bit of glycerin it just to loosen up the paint get the flow a little bit more the glycerin is starting to tack up here and that's fine it's great <coughs> all right so right in here we'll, we'll put some yeah see how bright that is now with these leaves they're in the foreground you'll be a little more more picky with these guys now I'm gonna slow it down a little bit here so they can be defined a lot better and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna just curve go on in there like that curve it boom I'm just being a little more careful with these guys because they're right out in front street there okay all right so we got one there uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking yeah right in here let's put something right in here okay and we'll kind of do it like that and we'll just get some filler right in here all right just like that and we're gonna come around on the other side and we're gonna give a more pronounced point there actually let's make him a little larger let him grow a little bit there just like that and we'll make him give him some extra stuff too there all right just kind of spread him out make him a little bigger uh, we'll put some love right here on the bottom even though you're not going to see too much of it and we're working with odd numbers but you make your petals odd number three five seven you know your, your, your leaves rather odd numbers please your eye takes to it better okay something like that all right it helps kind of shell him in there all right I could have one pop up in here let's do something cute let's get a little bit of yellow a little touch of white doesn't necessarily have to be the leaves I've just shown you. It can be some filler stuff, different shapes. So we'll come here. And can you see this? Yeah, you guys should be able to see it. I'll just come here like this and I'll just kind of pop a little thing up in there like that. And another bright one right up in here, kind of cut through. And we'll do another one in threes, kind of cut through right into the other painting, like so. And maybe we'll come, have one come bend down over here and. and Give him a little something there. Uh, we'll do another one here. Can I, then, yeah, then we'll give him a friend right here. A little filler stuff. Okay. All right. Let's get one particularly bright. I'm going to put him in front of a leaf. Here. Um, we'll have him kind of loop down. He's coming out of nowhere right here. And then we'll kind of pop him right in there like that. All right. Just like that. Ew turn one inside here spread them out and have them come there all right all right I think we're good with that let's get some more white and yellow mix 
we'll separate that away from everybody else get a little bit of highlight going a uh, slight touch of glycerin to thin out the paint and we're going to work on one side of the leaves uh, we'll just keep it uh, we'll keep, we'll brighten it on and we'll brighten it on what side and we'll brighten it on this side we just come here and like that okay all right um, right here on the top we'll just brighten it just like that all right don't worry I know we got these leaves here we'll bring those back don't worry about that we'll brighten one right in here like this have it continue on all right let's go even brighter and we're going to put center vein right in here like that put the center vein right up in here like that this guy will just kind of put the center vein in there like so don't worry about that we we'll get a little bit of rose matter here mm. i'm gonna get some rose matter we're gonna turn it kind of reddish I think the red will be fine. Let's see. And we're going to come here and we're just going to darken it up a little bit for this a little contrast there. Bring it in a little further. Take my soft brush and we're just going to tap some separation there very soft we want contrast in it but I don't want it to be overbearing and we'll pop a few in here okay underneath here we'll pop in some right in there right up under here We're gonna strengthen the um, gonna strengthen the um, center vein there. What I'm trying to say, right up in here. Put it right in there. Just like so. Okay. As I'm still looking at it, I'm still checking it out. edge helps it to kind of stand out all right I think we got a little bit a little bit of love right in here make it make it stick out there just like that I could probably put a little bit of love right in here around this edge here just like that all right now once again it's kind of shiny over here so it might be a little tough for you to check that out Okay. Oddly enough, once I pull this back and pull the tape off, because we're about to we're about to end here. Um, there. Okay. I think we've about did it here. Of course, you know one of the more important things to do is sign your name, right? Okay. I'll use a little bit of this red and. I think we got a little bit of white. I don't know what, what color this is. A little bit of water. Uh, it's gonna be some weird purple. But it's all right, I'll put my name right here in the corner. Once again, I'm using um, Chocola paints. Is it Chocola? Chocola. I just created a name for these. All right. There we 
go. All right. We're going to peel the tape off. Let's see what we got here. Blend it in together a little bit. We tried to. Um, and this only overlapping petals, background leaves. Then you get, you know, just it if a little bit spills into the other penny. It kind of brings them together a little bit. Okay. So oddly enough, it still looks like somewhat the same painting, even though it's really two separate paintings. Okay. All right. Um, but anyway, here you go. And it is the whole painting. I know you guys don't barely see the bottom, but there, there you go. Okay, but it is the whole painting. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. I know it's a very long video. Um, look at it in parts and pieces. Um, I say not really a teaching video, but but you know it's just me um, giving uh, my my take on you know how I would like how I like um, using these uh, paints. There's something I wanted to correct while I'm talking to you. All right, uh, let's use um, I'll use ultramarine blue. I just want to add a little more blue to the mountains back there on the shaded part, so I'm just going to use a darker blue. And it's a little bit of ultramarine blue. Okay, I don't need nothing gaudy blue or bright, but just something to kind of take some of that blankness out of there. And all right. Okay, and I'm gonna just kind of add just a few bits of color there. Now I went a little heavy on one, but that's all right. I can, I can, I can get that there. I can just kind of get that, yeah, make it disappear a little bit there, and we'll bring some of that down there. I'm incorporating some of this into the lit area just like that you might not be able to see it but you'll probably see it in the actual when I um, I usually post these to Instagram and and, and um, my uh, Facebook page so you will be able to see this and I'm just adding a, a little bit of color to the shaded side, not much. Because remember, it dries dark, so it will blend right in. And I'm breaking up some of that sharp white that's in there too. Okay. I just wanted to brighten up a little bit of that shadow there. See, if you're a little heavy-handed, don't worry, don't panic. You can straighten that out. You can definitely straighten that out. But that that brings that out a little bit better. I like that now a little, a little better than what it was. But you'll always find time to nitpick and tease through and, and check out some things. Okay. All right. I believe that's it. So, um, overall, it takes a little getting used to. It's a different consistency of of paint all right um but not really too bad i guess you can let me know how you think it it uh, works i did it with the um um modeling paste okay on the mountains here um i did it with the glycerin all over the place i did the blending of the clouds and such with the uh with the glycerin all right flower um where the glycerin dipped into um the paint dipped into the glycerin and gives me what i have here all right once again it's a different consistency of acrylic paint all right and so with working with paint that's new you know there's adjustments and so i did the adjustments in real time live in front of um you know those of you who are watching okay 
so for our first trial first test um pretty cool i'm as i'm talking to you i'm putting all of this back i'll show you guys one more time what this looks like and uh well what i can say really is uh give it a whirl give it a test drive you know but this is the uh this is what i have this is what i worked with okay uh, let's get the light out of there uh there you go this is what i worked in 32 colors all right um 22 milliliter tubes and uh they look like so all right and there's a row of um this is obviously 16 there's a row of, of uh 16 on the bottom of this also uh there you go turn it that way all right but using these paints made uh this so all right i appreciate you i appreciate your time and taking the time to watch this especially if you watched the whole thing because i think we're hitting on two hours um, but i will be editing this um i like to thank uh chocola for uh giving me a, the opportunity to dis display uh, their paints and uh i shall see everybody when i see you until next time